Using Visual Studio Live Share, we can share our IDE and debugging session with a remote user. So the sharer, or student in this case, would be opening their solution, obviously containing multiple INO files as normal. And in this case, we want to share a debugging session. So we'll add our breakpoints and we're going to use the hardware debugging, which works fine through the sharing and select as normal our options. Obviously we'll need to build and upload the code to our board to ensure we can start the debugging session successfully. So first we'll need to press the live share button in the top right. This will set up all the relevant services. And a notification will pop up with more links, which will give you options to copy the link or see this more info screen, which will take you through some extra information. If we copy the invitation link and, and pass this to the person we want to assist us, in this case potentially a tutor, through email or Skype or any other mechanism, they can then load a copy of Visual Studio and connect to it. If you just load the link in a web browser, it will also give you a download button that will automatically open an instance of VS for you. So to open an existing session from an open instance of Visual Studio, just go to other windows and live share. Then we can press the join session button. And if we double click and replace the link with our new one, we can then just press join. Obviously this would be from a remote PC in a normal scenario, just done locally as an example here. So we can see that I've joined. So the share row, Can tell where I am in the code and see that I've joined the session. I also have a live share window available as well and we can see all of the code in the solution and the breakpoints from our clients even though the person who's connected doesn't actually have a copy of the solution. We can open the code, navigate through the code as normal. If we want, we can actually push the person to where we are using the focus attention button. So we can show them what we're looking at. You can see where they are in the code. So if the sharer now attaches their debugger, because they've got the hardware connected to their machine, you can now see it's landed on a breakpoint and all the usual functionality is available, watches, autos, and so forth. We can add our own watch as normal. As we see on the person who's connected, they have their own set of watches. So they can actually add watches independently, but they can also control the step button. So you can work through this debugging session together, watching different elements, depending on your specific knowledge area or what you're looking for. You can also use the other step controls to navigate deeper into the code as normal. So we can add our own watch here, which will only show up on our machine. So if we disconnect, we can see that the debug session is still actually running on the client machine, but this is so that they can continue control because they might be sharing with multiple users. It's as simple as that really which allows you to navigate through your code, help work through issues, and do your hardware debugging on a piece of hardware you don't have remotely. And only a few clicks.